Uh, so from there, I have the interest, and I know say uh, if I will not be a doctor or a nurse at the hospital, which I cannot save life through farming, I can use to save life because we provide food, we provide medicine, and everything that we use, even the cloth that we are wearing now, sure. is true from agriculture uh, process that we are able to get the clothes and other stuff. So. <laughs> All right, hello guys, this is your one Kwame guy. I will always remain Kwame guy for you. I'm the only YouTuber from Agwanan's favorite. Today, I'm here in Agwanan Saban. Yes, Agwanan Saban. Today, I'm here with someone special, a young man who is into farming. Yes, who is into farming. And without wasting much time, I will just, you know, hit, hit to the, you know, to the wall and we start discussing about what really inspires him becoming or start doing the farms and stuff um please um young should i say young man or whatever um please before what is your name okay um so my name is impuntu impuntu okay so uh yes i'm the kid okay uh some case here it is the comedian yeah i'm a fan of the toy hey dan cook martin dan cook dan cook down cook cook it be an inia ya ah it is a urefi for me din call kai call for so near dia oh okay it dan cook martin dan cook martin and do do na woni me bia no school for near dey na me say dan cook martin our friend but since ya dey e dey use an e impunto impunto okay so um what brought about the impunto and what is the meaning of the impunto okay impunto no say your crop to talk asemu a your development development eh nti bi bia e nyin ko nenim bia no that's what we stands for eh nti nti e choose so e dey impunto no say eh yeah yeah am ofana ye nyin ko ye nim no na e woni da so bi say bi bia e be ye bia na pese ye ko ye nim ye tu mpo nko ye nim aha na ye pese say abre na be na Amount for one name, yeah, and such a one so bit my day. I could win him. Aha, ah, development, the bow on a bra boom. And he said, Ba, a young Ancasa, personal as its name, or so to Ponco in him. Crow will meet, baby be our home, who be another side, and Utum Coin, and ten a five doom, which means development. Development, yeah. Oh, okay. And before, the reason why um, uh, I came across this name in Punto Farms, in Punto Farms, and that's the main reason why I'm here. Okay. Um, what inspired you to start doing farming? And is it because of your area that you are in here? Or let me start by this way. When we say Impunto family, Impunto farms, farms what yeah. does Impunto farms really does? Oh, okay. So um, as the name goes, Impunto farms, we uh, involve ourselves. In so we do something like farm management. Uh, some people will be in the diaspora, some people will be in school, some people will be in workplaces where they will not get time. So we manage their farms for them. If oh, you have okay. farm, maybe a cocoa farm, you want someone to manage it for you, we are available to do that for you. And we also produce food, commodity for everyone to manage. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Punto believes in that uh, agriculture has been a profession uh, which everyone needs. <laughs> yes, and say, um, Okwini, yeah, uh, you may be uh, and you're selfish. Sure. Yes, and say, and you're a bit, you yeah, chema as soon as we are so. Aha, by a corner, bank centers, teacher for now, then Kofuka Krebi pe, and then you had that opportunity in this home base. But farmers, yeah, you dear and any BBA, the BBA could be an idea, a man quite. So we say agriculture is a way of life. It's a Ubisa, I don't know. Okay, I remember those days when I was in school, the most uh, the agric students usually say is there is money in the soil. Yeah, yeah there is the money in the soil. So aside um, farming, what else do you do? Oh, actually, um, I was into media. Media? I'm a graphic designer, wow. photographer, and videographer. Wow, so, wow, wow. I decided to um, put that on aside as, as a hobby and basically depends on the farming because I do love agriculture a lot and farming a lot because uh, some way, somehow, in the community where we live, we found ourselves in is a farming community. And my parents too was, uh, was farmers also. So when I was a kid, we usually go to farm. Yeah, so from there, I have the interest, and I know say, uh, if I will not be a doctor or a nurse at the hospital, which I cannot save life through farming, I can use to save life because we provide food, we provide medicine, and everything that we use, even the cloth that we are wearing now, sure. is true from agriculture uh, process that we are able to get the clothes and other stuff. So, for us to impact life and to save life, why 
I try much as possible to focus only on agriculture. And um, in our dispensation, it has been a situation like people don't really see the benefit of farming. Sure. Yeah, so we stand to a chance to change that narrative uh, because there are a lot of misconceptions about farming, especially when you come to our area in Ghana as well. But we thank God as time goes on, things are changing. Uh, so you see a whole lot of people trying much as possible to be in agriculture. So for young people to have interest in agriculture, why we still choose to be farmers or we choose to do farm? Why? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> this is very amazing. A graphic designer, a media personnel who has now switched into agriculture. Exactly. Oh, that, that means, you know, he has a love for... Um, farming yeah. okay so what types of crop that do you usually okay use? um i do every types of crops depending on oh, okay. the season oh, okay yeah, so um here we are is um a sugarcane plantation okay i just say a bedroom baby no we are near the interma you try and answer them by so we try to mix it with okra uh, so uh basically here is for sugarcane plantation because here is waterlock area i will be at the chenya then we normally yeah I think that you are, and you are, you are doing too much to it. And all that stuff, you grow back, grow back, grow back, grow back, grow back, grow back. Uh, where your friend miss cropping, yeah, sure, sure, uh, cool. sure. uh, JHS, miss cropping, miss cropping. Miss cropping. Yeah, yeah, they are prefer. Oh, okay. uh, basically, I have yeah, the main farm. Oh, okay. I have been here. Oh, right. uh, so just one minute walk. Now, what about now? Person, when you be on the way, yeah, how about at least? Yeah, you go away. Yeah, you go away. Yeah, you go away. See. It's really, really inciting and interesting for you to be a farmer. And actually, my home garden is, it's not only you going to the farm, okay. I just say, oh, you're a farmer, but at home, you can also try much as possible to be a home gardener. Ghana, we are blessed. 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 We are so we have a um, coconut plantation, we have oh, wow. uh, cocoa and we have palm nuts as well. And this is in the time much as possible to uh, do much of pepper. Wow, uh, wow. Yeah, do much of pepper. So that's what we are looking at for right now. So yeah. we mean so you are into everything. I mean to everything, depending <laughs> on the season. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so let, 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 let's see something. You said you were into graphic design, yeah. media, media and media. things. So at times, at time when you realize that, no, I have to stop this and come and do um the farming when you start in the farming do you find any difficulties in it because you switching from the media to the farm how was it okay uh, me switching from media into um farming uh, to me it's a bit challenging oh, okay. it's a bit challenging yeah because at times uh farming we have types of farming you have the domestic farming the commercial farming and other types of farming and if you want to be a full-time or part-time, that one also depends. But me, I choose to be a full-time farmer. Okay. So at times, you'll be at shop and you have to come to farm and weed or do something or on the land. And when you come to farm too, there'll be other people waiting for you so that you work on their graphics or okay. their pictures for them. Or we keep, during weekends too, you they have gigs. to get gigs near there. Oh, okay. uh -huh. So it's, it's, it's really challenging. Uh -huh. But wow. since... Um, I live with farming because oh, okay. I it's been more than 15 years which I've been into farming wow. because when I was a kid you normally send us to um, a farm or the equip room uko school ba o be catch us say so our mama she want to and in the bedroom in the and you have to walk all the way from town to an hour na oko na eja wa ko bo our mama see from there na say farm in we yemu na na me adu me betum die be do some and you see, we try much as possible to combine both of them. And actually, it's, it has also helped me in the field of my work, so in the farming. Oh, okay. Because um, we have been in the dispensation, uh, we have to make good use of um, the social media or technology because sure. we are in the digital world. So our social media handles, our graphics, our pictures, and everything. If I have no idea about uh, graphics, I wouldn't have done much as I do on the oh, okay. online. So. Oh, okay. I would say both of them have, have helped and they are trying much as possible to. But now you enjoy doing the farm. Oh yes, I, I do enjoy uh, both of them, but I will place the farming oh, okay. ahead than the graphics as well. <laughs> wow, yeah, wow. And you know that uh, any graphic designer will tell you that the smooth time for working is at dawn. Uh, so you come to farm, you work, you do whatever you have to do. Then at dawn, the serene, the quiet serene, that's where you used to do your graphics. Uh, so and that day, 
So um you you also said that um you work on some some ones you know farm yeah. if someone wants to um want you to work on your farm. Do you have people that you work with as a um, group or family that you or let me put it this way do you have workers that you work with maybe in case of um someone is giving you his or her farm to work on it do you do it on your own or you have other people who support you okay so it will actually depend on uh, the farm that you are working on because some farms are large so i can't do it alone so we have to get temporary people oh, okay. that will help in the laborers the weeding the spraying and other stuff <laughs> but um I would say I have two permanent workers that uh, we work hand in hand. I won't say workers do, but I would say my people I work with. Uh, one is um, Esomo. Uh, he's also named Seals a lot, Esomo, something sure. which is precious. precious. Uh -huh. And other uh, one who has also been around in terms of our work. Yeah. So that's it. We have temporary workers, but for the permanent workers, let's say we are three in all. Uh, so if you have your farm, and depending on the size, if it's two acres, three acres, and uh, a bro, yeah, more than so. Then you have to bring someone in so that only for conservation matter. Then you have to be a beside and on it. So, like, how many acres of land do you work on? <laughs> <laughs> I, we, we want to know because, ah, uh, okay. So basically, I would say we work on more than ten acres. Wow. Depending on what we we are doing. Okay. Yeah, because we don't have um, we have different, different types type of crops, crops on different lands. Instead, the Africa is canny now, Boma. Because we have sugar cane, we have um, pepper, we have uh, plantain, we have pepper and other stuff. We are still trying to work out more. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask this last question. Yeah. Um, after, after harvesting it, how is it like, uh, let's say, after you harvesting your crops, how is the market? Is the market every day ready for, for your crops? Or... Oh, my brother, you see, you actually want to be a farmer, you okay. need to learn a lot. Okay. So people were having misconceptions that if we're a farmer, we'll see me a day, one cool school and now you create and a whole lot of misconceptions people have about uh, uh, farming. But I bet you, currently, if you want to know the rich men in Ghana and other mm -hmm. stuff, they are all into farming. Okay. And farming, if you do it on large scale, that's where you are going to get your cash. <laughs> so we have so many people, Don Dimelo, uh africa baroni i hope you know him he's sure. a shadow uh uh shadow filmmaker uh uh or no a whole lot of people who are into agriculture which they are making good real money <laughs> recently um semencia farms okay. uh recently there was an issue about uh baby they almost invested more than one million uh i think is it one million us dollars or something into his project so Agriculture is all about how you want it to be. <laughs> and to say first now, kakribinao ya, kakribinao ya. So, on large scale, it depends on what actually you want to do. Okay. And if you want to start, you have to have a plan. Sure. In any profession, there is a plan. So, uh, as on the bank, on the banking set, I will say, okay, you do marketing, you do this. You do. The same as if you want to be a farmer and a serious farmer, oh, okay. you also have to work on certain things. You have to project yourself, have a budget, and work towards it so on the market demand before you will start uh, planting you have to go to the market women because they will tell you what uh, will be on high demand on the market during a specific time oh, okay. and so the timing is very key so if you plant okro within this time you say because in suit in the for the donor maybe so if it's ready and if you want to do it on large scale you have ghana export uh, authority and so uh, people don't normally know because of education but at ministries at akawakwa the office is there who can now search how to export and other stuff you see a whole lot of stuff there, how you want to sell in terms of you exporting it. <laughs> and if you want to sell it to the local market and other stuff, you have to detail. Say, do you need a media Media, say maybe. Media, send back my market women. Media, send back to my hotel. Media, send back to my company. Be a woman use that product for 
their services. It will be fine, so I will be the other one. And I will say, oh, yes, I'll plan with two for that. And so I will start to say, oh, yeah. And if you get the season right or the timing right, I bet you, you are going to love farming. Wow. Because if you have been able to plant already during November, December, at this time, no, you are not going to be able market it because it will come out. So a bag of um, pepper right now will be around 1,000, more than 1,005 cities depending on your location and on, on an acre you can get more than 10, 10, um, 10, bags. 10 bags so calculate 10 bags by 1005 wow that, is that will be than 15,000 sure. per harvest wow and pepper you can harvest it multiple times even more than three months so imagine if it's if it at its peak mm. and you are harvesting it for 10 bags every two weeks wow just imagine what you are going that to get uh -huh, that's the amount of money, but it's all ten, it's all boils to how you prepare yourself and how you time yourself. Farming is all about timing, yeah. And since technology has come, you make good use of it, and you are free to grow. All right, guys, you had it all yourself. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I'm, 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 I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. You know, sometimes we are there. We think farming is very difficult, and farming is very, you know, just. It, I, I don't want to say much because I'm really impressed of. What he is saying right now, how I wish I can do it. But guys, um, if you are to give advice to anyone who is willing to start um, farming right now, what advice would you give okay, to that person? Um, the advice I would like to uh, give to each and everyone who wants to be a farmer is try much as possible to learn what you are coming to do. Oh, okay. Because if you are a banker, you learn how to be a banker. If you're a footballer, you train to be a footballer. If you're an athlete, you train to be an athlete. If you want to be a teacher, you train to be a teacher. So if you want to be a farmer, you try much as possible to equip yourself, train yourself to be a farmer as well. Because if you, have, if you are training yourself, you know what exactly to do on a specific, uh, specific time. Not necessarily going to the agriculture schools or other stuff. Technology has come, YouTube is there and other places are there. You can also follow us on our social media handles. We normally have a sessions we used to teach other oh, okay. people what exactly they have to do in terms of them coming to into farming. Huh. But everybody should think that farming uh, is an investment. The more you invest, the more you get your money. Sure, sure. And timing is also key. It's not like people will be saying, okay, now farming sikabemu and timisu mibemu without having any, any idea, idea about, about it. So you have an idea about it, have a long way. That helps you in whatever you want to do. Because only mm one idea, idea this is in the end, you say, no, we could do it. could do it, you and I say, no, say. If you don't have certain systems like irrigation, so I would say, no, you don't have to do it. I don't have to do it, I don't have to So it depends on how you want to start. And if you want to start, I will beseech um, everyone that you start small okay. you think big but you start small so if you want to be on large scale you try much as possible to, for the first season an acre will do whatever you want to do start okay. with an acre or half an acre just to have an experience to it farming experience keep us going sure. without the experience it's impossible to, for you to be a successful farmer so if you ask me that then there are many opportunities in farming if you try yourself try much as possible to invest in that's not really matters either you can Equally give out, um, invest in other farming uh, companies uh, like in Kuncho Farms. Maybe our old baby, not say we need timer. You can equally have us sit down. We have our forms and everything there. We sit down. If you, if you invest with us, then we use the money to invest on our land. Then I don't really the proceed. You know how to go about it. So it's not necessary you come into the field. Okay. <laughs> we have other agriculture businesses that you can do. We have the agri inputs there. Okay. So like the catalogs and other stuff is there. If you want to come to the field too, it's there. If you want to use the pro uh, products that uh, we have, the produce, the food commodity, maybe you want to use coconut, turn it mm. to coconut water, that one too is there. So in agriculture sector, uh, that's why we always say that Ghana, the backbone of our, agri um, our economy is agriculture. agriculture. But we joke with it. Sure. <laughs> we really joke with it because if something is uh, a backbone to you, our spinal cord, that's the backbone that you're depending on. Mm -hmm. So we don't joke with it. But it seems uh, though the government will do what he can do, but it's not as much as we are anticipating or we are expecting from them. So that's what I can say. Oh, so there are many opportunities in farming and uh, at least 
when um since i've been into farming it has really really helps me to know a lot about nature because you really understand what nature is because you will plant this thing on the same day, mm -hmm. but you come some will be taller than the others. Sure. It tells you that in life, it's not anyone that will have it on the smooth scale. Sure. It's not anyone who will be on the same scale as you. Yours will be different. Someone's job will be different. We be to make in Kenya, but we will be so and get and get and get and get. We we enter be a new. Now we see young one. They know no concern. So it actually helps you to know what actually happens in life as well. And any other opportunities that uh, mm. so I would say that since micro farms came into 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 existence, at least we have been able to achieve uh we are trying to achieve more. Yeah. But uh by God's grace in um twenty eighteen when it comes to Aguna East we were able to have the best youth farmer for wow. Aguna wow. East in twenty eighteen. Wow. 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 Yeah. That's and amazing. also uh we were we have been to conferences and other places through agriculture. If it's not about farming, we wouldn't have been there. Sure. There have been places that farming has sent us to. If you're and Kayunim, they be able to me. Professors can't even go there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there are many opportunities in agriculture. So uh, I would like to tell each and everyone that uh, agriculture has been is a way of life. The only thing you have to do try to know what exactly you are coming to do on the agriculture sector, then you are free to go. You can be able to do it. Okay. Thanks. Thanks Take for up. sharing. Sharing. Thanks. And before, before we leave, you have to pick your contact if someone wants you to come and work on this or your lamp or, you know, leave your contact your social media handle also. I just can reach out to you and if they have any, they want to seek any advice from you, they will contact you and help to, you can reach out to you. All right, so uh, hello, dear viewers, audience of um, Kwame Guy. We use this opportunity to um, tell each and everyone that agriculture is a way of life and we should try much as possible to find ourselves in. So if you want to reach out to Impunto Farms, if you go to all the social media handles, the name is Impunto Farms, Impunto Farms on YouTube, on Facebook, on TikTok, everywhere on the social media is Impunto Farms. We have our email as impuntofarms at gmail.com. Uh, we have our WhatsApp number, our calling number, 0502-614098, 0502-614098. That is our number. If you want to call us, you can call us. If you want to invest with Impunto Farms, if you need advice about farming or agriculture businesses, or if you want someone to manage your farm, anything that you want us to know from agriculture, we open our doors wide 24-7 for you for you to come for us to have a discussion and a conversation as well we are ready for everyone especially the young people wow 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 nice meeting nice same meeting. here as well guys please make sure you subscribe to this channel i have more for you more content for you so stay tuned stay connected make sure you put the notification on so anytime i post a new video you'll be notified bye bye see you next time